What if you have too much junk but don't have enough energy? Convert one to the other. That's the idea behind the incinerations that are starting to spring up all over the world and the Dubai government is now announcing the world's largest construction plan. By 2024, Wasson's Greenfield facility will process up to 45% of Dubai's urban solid waste, generate up to 200 megawatts of green electricity and power 120,000 households. The waste to energy wet facility is expected to process up to 2 million tons of solid waste each year in operation, which is about 60% of Dubai's annual waste production. The plant has a capacity of 185 megawatts, which is about 2% of Dubai's annual energy consumption. Located in the Federal Emirate of Dubai, Wasson is Greenfield's traditional waste energy facility transforming the waste management sector. As the first of its kind in the energy sector from the Middle East and waste, it sets the standard in regions that produced about 150 million tons of waste each year. Initial work in the project was slated to begin by July 2020 and was scheduled for a full test run in 2024. Once operational, the facility will process 1.9 million tons of MSW annually. It processes up to 45% of all landfill waste and produces up to 200 megawatts of thermal energy for supply to the local grid. Due to its size and capacity, this facility is one of the largest in the world. This project is led by Itochu and a sponsor group consisting of Hitachi Zosen Japan, B6 Belgium, a local tech group and Dubai Holding. B6 and Hitachi Zosen will be responsible for the construction, operation and maintenance of the facility and the city of Dubai will act as a conservative and purchaser. A $9.9 billion project loan agreement has been signed with financial institutions such as Japan Bank for International Cooperation, Saite General Bank, KFW Ibex Bank, Standard Chartered Bank, Umitomo Mitsui Banking Corporation, Uho Bank, Siemens Bank and Credit Agricole Bank. Nippon Export and Investment Insurance would contribute with insurance for some of the loans provided by financial institutions. This significant investment by the group of companies that form this consortium, based on an agreement with Dubai Municipality, highlights international confidence in our market and Dubai's continued appeal in attracting foreign direct investment despite a more challenging global economic climate, said Khalid Al Malik, Managing Director of Dubai Holding. This $1.2 billion project is being seen as extremely crucial for the Dubai's Emirates long-term waste management policy and as an important milestone in achieving the energy transition goals of various governmental energy transition agendas. UAE Vision 2021, Dubai Clean Energy Strategy and the UAE's commitment to UN Sustainable Development Goals SDGs. The construction of the project is being carried out by B6 Middle East and Hitachi Zosen Innova. At the height of its construction, 2,500 workers will be employed and the site is expected to use up 16 tower cranes, including the world's largest tower crane, to install equipment on site. Energy from waste technology is considered to be the safest and the most efficient technology for sustainably processing municipal solid waste. The construction of this EFW plant is not only a novelty for Dubai, even for HZI, this project marks the entering into a new market and we are looking forward to further projects in the Middle East, said Bruce. Bruno Frederich Baudouin, CEO of Hitachi Zosen Innova. The project employs a combustion process to release the stored energy from the feed. Urban solid waste will be used as a raw material for the project. The government created UAE Vision 2021 as an initiative aimed at eliminating 75% of the waste from landfills. Facility is looking forward to achieving this goal and increasing the share of clean energy in Dubai's total production to 25% by 2030 and 75% by 2050. The Dubai municipality previously announced that it has commenced the installation of a steam turbine at the center. The installation of turbines with a production capacity of up to 200 megawatt hours set the bar high in the development of renewable energy initiatives. Dawood Al Hajri, Director General of Dubai Municipality said, in line with the UN Sustainable Development Goals SDGs, the facility will contribute to reaching the goals set by Dubai Municipality to reduce landfill by 75% and the targets outlined in the Dubai Clean 
Energy Strategy 2050. The installation of the steam turbine will allow the project to enter its pilot phase next year, becoming the new source of sustainable energy in the UAE, he added. The project will enable the transformation of huge amounts of waste into a sustainable resource for clean energy. Electricity will be produced by moving the turbines using steam pressure, undertaken under the directives of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and the ruler of Dubai, the project reflects the Emirates' commitment to transform itself into one of the most sustainable cities in the world. The project also reflects the Emirates' keenness to follow a green growth trajectory that significantly reduces Dubai's environmental footprint. Daoud Al Hajri, Director General of Dubai Municipality, said, Guided by the vision of our leadership to advance sustainable development and develop innovative solutions to tap renewable energy sources, Dubai Municipality is undertaking an exceptional and a pioneering project to convert waste into energy. Our keenness to implement projects that integrate the values and concepts of sustainability and environmental preservation that are critical to our world today has significantly contributed to Dubai's rapid advancement in this vital sector. He further said, the Dubai Waste Treatment Center is the most efficient waste-to-energy project in the world with an efficiency rate of 32% at a temperature of 27 degrees Celsius. The project's waste treatment capacity is estimated at 5,666 tons per day, equivalent to 1.912 million tons per year. The project will greatly support efforts to achieve the UAE's and Dubai's strategic and national goals in the energy sector. The foundations of the Dubai Waste Treatment Center, with a total of 400,000 square meters, has been completed. After the excavation was completed, eight grains, including two of the world's largest grains, 40 meters long and 100 tons in capacity, will be pouring 66,000 meter cube of concrete, reinforced with 1,000 tons of iron. In addition, 45% of steam-powered turbine engines from waste treatment processes and 45% of generators that power and power more than 135,000 homes will be annually manufactured. This project would be using the largest waste treatment technology from Japan and Switzerland and would be more efficient than other waste-to-energy projects currently in existence. The project is environmentally friendly as all emissions are thoroughly cleaned with a cloth filter consisting of 12,480 cylindrical filter bags before being ejected from a 70-meter high chimney. Thorough control measures have been taken to eliminate odors. The project will be built with the participation of 30 contractors, consultants and suppliers. A team of over 300 engineers and workers has already invested 3 million man-hours in developing the project. The project will run for 35 years. All water used in the project will be recycled from the wastewater treatment plant in Warsan at a rate of 2,760 cubic meters per day. The project will generate 200 megawatts of energy per hour, MWH, and 35 megawatts per hour will be used to operate the Warsan wastewater treatment plant, while 20 megawatt hours will be used to operate the Dubai Waste Treatment Center. The waste disposal process uses trucks to collect waste and transport it to the Dubai waste disposal center. Waste from 1,000 trucks per day and the center processes waste from 88 trucks per hour. The center has five incinerator lines that can reliably incinerate 5,666 tons of waste per day. The first line will be operational in 2023. The remaining five lines will be fully operational until 2024. The incinerated waste produces 1,000 tons of bottom ash, which is recycled and used in infrastructure projects. The city of Dubai today announced that 45% of its Dubai Waste Disposal Center in Warsaw, the world's largest waste-to-energy project, has been completed. The first phase of the groundbreaking renewable energy project is expected to be completed by 2023, while the entire project is expected to be completed by 2020. This project uses the latest waste treatment technology from Japan and Switzerland and is more efficient than other waste-to-energy projects currently in existence. The project is environmentally friendly as all emissions are thoroughly cleaned with a cloth filter consisting 12,480 cylindrical filter bags before being ejected from a 70-meter high chimney. Thorough control measures have been taken to eliminate odors. The project will be built with the participation of 30 contractors, consultants, and suppliers. A team of over 300 engineers and workers has already invested 3 million man-hours 
hours in developing the project. The Shenzhen East Waste to Energy Plant in China is currently aiming to be the largest incinerator in the world, but if Dubai project achieves its goal, it should be able to abandon the title before Shenzhen is completed. Both are expected to be completed in 2020 and can handle more than 5,500 tons of waste per day. But Dubai's capacity is 20 megawatts higher than Shenzhen's. Still, it's not really competitive and it's important to build these sustainable systems further. Future vision? The municipality has officially stated that it has put into action its plans under the Dubai Integrated Waste Management Strategy, which aims to cut down and divert waste from landfills by 2030 and address the electricity needs of Dubai's growing population and economy. The municipality will also play a key role in innovation in waste management, recycling and conversion to energy and in implementing the Dubai Integrated Waste Management Strategy 2021-2041 to which aims to reduce hazardous waste to near zero by 2041. Waste to Energy or Waste to Energy plants provide safe and technologically advanced waste treatment methods that reduce greenhouse gases, generate clean energy and recycle metals. Waste to Energy WTE is widely recognized as a technology that helps mitigate climate change. This is because the waste incinerated at the WTE plant does not produce methane like landfills. Metals that should have been sent to landfills are not thrown away but are collected for recycling, and the electricity generated offsets the greenhouse gases that would otherwise have been produced by coal or natural gas power plants. WTE plants are the only form of energy production that actually reduces greenhouse gases. Thus, it does seem like a very thoughtful and a noble initiative by the government of the UAE and the other nations in the world must take this step into consideration themselves and start having their own waste to energy conversion plans. What are your opinions on this? Do you also believe that the UAE government has done a tremendously appreciable job? Or do you think that the bountiful funds employed in the project could have been better put somewhere else? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. And also remember to hit the bell icon below. This way, you'd never miss an update from us whenever we bring something new and interesting. Stay tuned for more.